If you've ever wanted to make a really cinematic title sequence that's hidden behind buildings or any kind of picture, then this tor- this tortilla. Then this tutorial is definitely for you. What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to hide your text behind a scene in a photo just like this. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. I'm just using a 1920 by 1080 canvas, and I'm gonna grab a photo from Unsplash. Now this is the photo I used in the demo, so I'm just gonna find something else. I'm just gonna type in city. And I'm gonna be looking for something that has more of a flat skyline, because you want a lot of space to put your title, especially if you're gonna be using multiple lines or it's just a really long title sequence. So I'm gonna choose this photo right here from Matt Jones. Shout out if your name is Matt Jones. <laughs> I'm just gonna drag that into our canvas. I'm gonna hold down Alt, Shift, and then click and drag, and that's gonna scale up our photo proportionally and keep it in the same space. Then I can just hit OK. And what we're gonna do is grab our quick selection tool. And what we're gonna do is highlight all of the buildings. So just click and drag around all of the buildings until you see that squiggly line kind of outlining everything up to where the sky meets the building or whatever it is that you're highlighting in your photo. You also want to make sure that you go all the way down to the bottom just so that you have a nice clean outline and everything looks good here. It doesn't have to be too exact but it should do a pretty good job by itself and once you're done just right click and select select and mask and then you can see how good of a job you did. If there's something you missed you can either click and drag and drag that in there, or you can hold down Alt if you accidentally brought in something. So if I had this guy, I could hold down Alt and then just delete it, and it'll get that out of the way for me. Now you do wanna smooth this out a little bit by just dragging out the smooth, somewhere around 30, it should be good. You can add a feather, although that's gonna soften all the edges, and we really want this to be a nice, crisp outline. So I would avoid using the feather unless you have a lot of detail, like maybe someone's hair or anything with a lot of fine points. So I'm just gonna leave all our settings like so and hit OK. And then what we're gonna do is right click and select layer via copy. So now if I hide the original image, you see we just have the city minus the sky. And then all we have to do is add in our text. So I'm gonna select our text tool by hitting T on the keyboard. And then I'm just gonna type in some sort of text. This can be anything. I know this is not New York, but actually it might be New York. I don't really know. But I'm just gonna type in something and I'm gonna increase the font size to something like 200. This might be too big, but we can always scale it down by just hitting Command T and then getting it where we want it. And you just wanna make sure that your text layer is placed between where we highlighted the city and then the original image. That way when we drag it down, we can hide it wherever we want. Now this outline has actually been pretty good right off the bat. There's nothing really missing. There's no weird extra gaps where it should be covering the text. But let's say that there was a bunch of extra space maybe where it should be covering the text or it should be revealing the text. What you can do is select that top layer where it's just the city highlighted and go down to the bottom and create a layer mask. It's just that little rectangle with the circle in the middle. Hit B on your keyboard, that's gonna bring up your brush tool. And then you can zoom in to whatever area it is that should be highlighted. Maybe you wanted the bottom part of the E to be revealed. What you could do is make sure that black is selected on your foreground color, and then you can increase your brush size by using the brackets to see how much you need. And then you can just go over the building and reveal whatever part of the text you would like to be shown. Now if you make a mistake, you can hit X on your keyboard, that'll switch your foreground color to white, and then if you go back over that section, it'll reveal the image and put that building back where we had it. Now what's nice about the setup with this mask is it's really easy to drop in text and switch this out. We're not using any mask or anything on the actual layer that's being hidden. So if you wanted to change the font, you could do that. You wanna change the size, or if you wanted to drop in a logo or something like this, you could just click, drag that in there, scale it down where you want it, and you're done. It's really easy to use, and you've kind of created a template that you can use in the future. So guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful. If you had any issues along the way, be sure to check out the description where I have a link to this project file, which you can download, open up, and mess around with however much you want to. Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.